Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dr. Dis, and I'm continuing my series on Cubase versus Logic. Now today we'll be comparing the standard drum programming modules in both programs. So let's get into it. So in Cubase, we need to load up a plugin called Groove Agent SE. So we come up here, hit the add track tab, adding an instrument track, come down here to Groove Agent, Groove Agent SE and add track. Now there is Groove Agent, the full version, which you have to actually pay for. Um, but SE is like a special edition that comes as standard. Now this is the sort of layout. You've got your 16 sort of virtual drum pads. Um, and up here is the library where you load up your drum. So let's find, let's go to this kit, for example, this Anna Hop kit, click once and it's in. And if I was to hit the pad, okay. And you can go through and audition the kit. Um, let's kind of have a look at, see what's available. Um, now this is the range of kits that you, you have at your disposal. And we're currently in instrument mode. There's pattern mode as well, um, which we'll tackle in a second. Okay, so over here, you've got a range of options that you can choose from. So you've got your main window where you can adjust volume, pan, tuning as well. So you can adjust the cutoff, that's the filter right there, and add res resonance as well. So you, you've, got your fil you've got your filter types as well. So if I was to go to filter, um, then you can choose which filter type you want. If you want the classic tube, then you have uh, this range of controls. Um, envelopes, right, and the sample. You can adjust the sample start and end points, um, slices, and you've got MIDI effects, which you can apply as well. And it's like a pitch envelope here as well that you can use. You've got a mixer. So you can send this through to an effects bus as well, I suppose. You can route this through. Um, it's auxiliary and this is for the overall kit. Okay, and that's your master. And you've got some other options here uh, for performance and disc streaming and so on. Unfortunately, if I wanted to say I was happy with this kit, but I wanted to replace this sample, the kick drum, for example, I couldn't change it. And that there is a real shame because you should be able to. Okay, so now moving to pattern. Um, so um, Groove Agent allows you to actually play back preset patterns or predefined patterns from the library. So if we come over here to Pattern Library, I'm going to go to Beat Agent uh, SE and we're going to let's choose the Dance Kit. I can now load into that um, my first um, drum groove, which will be this one. Okay, and if I Let's double click on that, should do it. And then move to this one. And then I'll load, let's see, I can choose another groove. So let's choose groove number three. Okay. And now if I was to play back, so that's that one. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's add one more in. Okay, let's play that back. Okay, cool. So that gives you an option. So you can build up like a whole song arrangement um, in here. Um, you can also switch up the rhythm. So you can add swing, you can double time or half time and uh, mess with the quantized values and velocity and so on. So there's quite a bit of control here. So now now that you've got this, this, these pads set up, so you can now grab this and drag it over to here on the Groove Agent track. Okay, and if I was to play that back, oh, switch, uh, if you're gonna play it back from the um, arrangement screen, you make sure you switch Omni on. Okay, so it's only playing from within this window. 
and both sequences are not playing at the same time. Okay, um, and then of course you can go in here and you can edit. So if I was to double click that, that will pull up, pull up the key editor and you can edit bits and pieces there. So the final thing I want to show you is how to do some very basic uh, drum programming. All I'm going to do is record a kick drum um, and show you how that's done. So uh, first thing you need to do is you create, I, I create um, a loop or cycle section. Let's say it was just, um, I don't know, two bars, for example. Uh, go to metronome setup and make sure that you've got in pre-count. And we're going to have a, a one bar count in prior to recording. And that's that. Come out. And now I'm just going to use a MIDI controller. So I'm just going to hit record down here. Okay, so um, the other thing I wanted to show you is this, is if you come up to MIDI and go to Open Drum Editor, you'll then see all of your kick drums at the top here. And this is quite handy because it's got all of your drums labeled. And if you start off with the pointer tool and you click here, okay, you can hear the drums sounded. If you double click, it actually erases the sound. So be careful about that double click it puts it back in the velocity to bring the velocity back up um, this here is your stick tool your drumstick so I can put another kick in here the other thing you got to do make sure that the acoustic feedback is on otherwise you'll be working blind so uh, this is off I think let's click here see yeah that's off and that's on I think yeah yeah I mean these things are simple things but you know it'd be good to make things a lot clearer as to whether something switched on or not even just change the color you know rather than graying it making it grayed out like that change it to a green or something like that when it's on anyway that's kind of it that's I'm not gonna spend too much much more time on this you can get the job done but it takes a while so yeah so that's kind of you know your, your basic drum module groove agent se in cubase now we're going to look at what's available in logic and to be honest the options for drums in logic are so so much better we're just going to focus however on the standard unit which is the ultra beat drum machine however i'll just show you real quick the other options which we'll be covering in another video so if i was to come here and i was to choose drummer and i chose create now drummer is an amazing um, virtual drummer plugin that comes as standard in logic pro x and it's incredible what you can do with this but we're not looking at drummer today so let's get rid of that we don't want that now another option open to us is the drum machine designer so if we come in here and we were to choose say after party that will load up this device let's open the inspector and click on this and then we have another great and this is fully editable um, and each if I was to click here now, you've got all the independent controls for each of these 16 pads. In fact, we've got 16 there and then you scroll along and, you know, you move along to the next set of, of drums. Okay, but we're not looking at that today. What we will be looking at is the standard ultra beat drum machine so if I was to come here and click this and come down to ultra beat drum synth so this is logic's standard drum module drum synth which has been part of logic um, pro since version 8 I think anyway um, it's a very powerful uh, unit very powerful device but to be honest I don't use it that often because I find it somewhat cumbersome somewhat uh, unnecessarily complex to be honest however that doesn't take away the fact that it is powerful you can come up here and you can choose your drum kits from here from the library you've got a whole 
range of kits a lot of kits and the samples are very very good far far better to be honest than the samples in cubase so let's cho choose this one um, boutique 78 for example let's see what we got okay um that's i'm just using my midi controller and this is the mapping right here. Now you've got control over volume, mute, solo, pan, and you've got separate outs here. And these, this is where the samples are. And unlike Cubase, you can actually go in here and change the sample. You can load a new sample, unload that, find something else, load something unique, you know, into that slot right there is a whole lot of control you've got here filters lfo pitch you can adjust the pitch you've got you've got your envelopes you know there's a whole range of stuff there you've also got similar to groove agent you've got the sort of pattern method of operating this as well so there's a simple sequencer here and you've got a switch sequencer on and each kit comes with a sort of preset sequence so if i was to hit play right here okay and stop that so there's 32 steps in this sequence but you can change that as well and down the bottom here you've got a range of different controls that you can go into um you can hit this to go to full view and you can see where all the notes are and you can adjust these uh, you can take this out take that out let's play that again Okay, let's put this. Okay, really simple. Um, and of course, you've got all of the naming there. So the other thing you can do, let's say, for example, I had created um, a, this sequence and I was happy with this sequence right here and I wanted to transfer it into Logic. All you do is you come down here and you see this little icon right here. Click and grab that. You drag it and you drop it onto the track. Okay, and that's it there. Uh, when Logic starts playing back, make sure this is switched off, this sequencer. Otherwise, uh, Logic will be triggering this sequencer as well as the notes here. So switch this off. And now Logic will uh, tri be triggering only the notes rather than the sequence. So if I go back here. Right, so it's playing the notes, but the sequencer is not running, okay? So that's something you gotta watch out for. If you're using just, if you're just triggering the notes, um, the ultra beat notes and you're using it as a sound module rather than as a um, sequencer, you will edit in the um, piano roll. So pull that up. And here we've got, again, all the drums are named. And okay, now if we click this uh, icon right here, you can see all the velocities as well so you can adjust the velocity for each note so this this one for example um I'll pull these all up so now if i let's say for example i wanted to record something real quick using my midi controller so i'm just gonna delete this uh, 120 bpm i've got my cycle um i actually just do two bars rather than four r on the keyboard to record And let's have a listen back to that. Right, so this note is a bit early. So all I do is um, either highlight them this way or Command A, select all, close the controller information window. And now I'm going to quantize to 1 16th, or I could have quantized to 1 8th. This is where you set your quantize values over here. Okay, and you hit the Q to quantize right here and you can also adjust the strength of the quantize the grid is set up here so if i want to change the, the grid there we are okay let's go back to 1 16th okay have a listen to that okay the other thing i wanted to do let's say for example i wanted to really quickly um, have all of these set to the same 
I have velocity. Let's say it was 100. I'll use a key command, command nine, to pull up this window. And then I'll then come in here, choose fixed velocity, fixed to 100, select and operate. And now everything is fixed at a velocity of 100. If we were to come down here, you'd see that. Drums in Logic is an absolute breeze. There's nothing complicated whatsoever about it. And there's so much more flexibility, so many more options. And more, most importantly, the sounds are amazing. All right. So I'd say in rounding this up, if, you, if you're going to be using Cubase, my advice would be to buy some, some sample packs and use that with the sampler instrument. But certainly Logic uh, by far is a much better option for drums as far as I'm concerned. Well, that's it for this video. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful. Um, I'll be back with more real soon. I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.